to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. Hey guys, I hope you're hungry. Welcome back to Psychonauts here on the Full Instance channel. My name is Jericho. In the last episode, we earned our levitation badge in Mia Vodello's mind. So now we are heading back to the Brain Tumbler to go into back into our own mind and hopefully save Dogen from our nightmares. Uh, let me go. Oh, he a bad guy. What I do help small you. bully assistant? Jeez, I don't know. Could you put him in that deadly Nelson you were talking about? Could. On such tiny opponent, all blood might drain out ear holes. Ah! <laughs> Straight up Shut of up, Benny. On the other off. hand, blood from constricted trunk could rush to tongue. And? Tongue swells, pops. Most blood drains back down throat. Interesting. Let's I've never seen this before. There's a lot of this game I've missed. Mouth you know, like all these conversations and stuff. Scream. So quieter. Ah! Shut up, Benny. You have something less drastic? Uh, could use half deadly Nelson. <laughs> What's that? Of course you got the full Nelson. Nelson and the half Nelson. But less dying. How much less? Uh, half. What happens the other half of the time? Opponent leaves. Spends the rest of short life praying for death. Hey! Can you hear me down there? Maloof? Shut up, oh, I baby. thought he was tied up Seriously, because of his shirt. Maloof. He's just hanging from his, his foot. A call off your goon, and I'll never bother you again, ever. The thing is, Benny, you're never gonna bother me again either way. So you're gonna Ooh. have to offer something Ooh. a lot better than that. Savagery. Like what? <clears throat> Any ideas, Mikhail? No one you think about giant hairless beer? No. Out of ideas. Preparing Nelson. But wait, wait. Uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, m maybe I did see something like that. Uh, give me a minute to think. You ready to talk, Benny? Hold on, it'll come to me. This is a long scene, gosh. Ha. Hey, you guys aren't going around taking people's brains out, are you? Not yet, but uh, maybe we should do some much research. On I'm gonna get. Um, there's some cards and stuff up here. Yeah, that you have to be able to bounce to get. There's a not hairless bear that's gonna try to give me the business. I guess I can take him on. Remember to keep filling up those scavenger hunt forms. We got a couple of big promotions for the winner. There we go. Not too tough. Uh, what the heck? There we go. Yeah, um... What's his name? Um... That's gonna drive me crazy. The main freaking guy. The dude. He was just talking about the, um... I think you have to use TK on the. So let me let me try that real quick. Um, Crawler, Agent Crawler, gosh, um, was just talking about the scavenger hunt. We haven't really gotten any scavenger hunt items yet, but we will. Okay, let me put that on L2 for a second. Nope, still won't budge. Nope, still nope, nope, still won't budge. Okay, I guess that's not the way nope. to do it. Still won't budge. That's a scavenger hunt item right there. That skull. Can't rightly remember how to get that. I don't know why I didn't get some of these before. Yeah, I didn't need TK for those. Oh, do I TK him? Sir? Oh, you have to be invisible for that one. That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay, enough wasting time. Time to face our nightmares. Here in the geodesic psycho bio isolation chamber. Geodesic psycho isolation chamber. Oh, there's another car. Let me get that real quick before I forget. I like how much um, detail goes into the animations. Like, I like how he kind of like lifts himself up and lets himself drop. It's just not a, like a fall, like the same cycle you would see from a regular fall. I don't know. It's just the little things. The levitation ball is so useful. Useful. I wish it was um, easy to control because it would just be the best. Yeah, after this, I'm pretty sure the next world is my. One of my very favies, but we'll see. I might uh, um, have the order confused. Okay, I'm a certified levitator now. Ready to roll. Nice. Hmm. I've been running some tests. It seems that the sensitive circuitry of the brain tumbler is picking up too much psychic interference to be safe. The thoughts of some other entity are interlacing with yours at a dangerous level. 
which explains many of the strange things you've seen. I must call off the experiments until we know more. Sasha, there's no time. I think my vision about Dogen came true. I'm worried it's gonna happen to the others if we don't get to the bottom of this quick. But we don't know where the foreign projections are coming from yet. Is there a faster way to find out than sending me in there to investigate? Maybe you go in too. That's the whole point of the machine, right? Or just put the little door on my head. He looks extremely uncomfortable getting his brain tumbled. Uh, brain tumbling sounds like something that you'd have to pay a lot of money to get. Okay. Sasha shooting gallery. What's that one? I guess we, we can't go back to any of the worlds until we've beaten our own. Brain tumble experiment. So we've already gotten all the vaults here. That's good. I think we start at the beginning again. Maybe not. We might start... Um, pretty much at the beginning. Oh no, not so much. We're here. Ah, ah, camera, please. So we'll soon get to where we couldn't get with levitation without levitation. It's over this thing in here. Uh, uh, I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. Dang it. Okay, let's try that again. Yeah, two steps forward, one steps back with levitation always because it's easier to climb or to get higher and you're faster, but it's so slippery. And the camera does nothing to help. Okay, now before I jump over this thing, let me look and see. Oh, I need to hit that and make it spray stuff. That's right. I thought. No, no, no. Shoot. Da. I think you can make it spray the, like, spray the, f like, like a fan, make an air current that'll lift me up like the end of um, Mia's world. I think, I think that's what you do, but my attack's doing nothing to make him do that. Maybe I just have to be patient. Can't get a good grip. There we go. Now we can just drop right in. Why are you screaming? Oh, it's a cool design right. villain. I, I like the hook remember. and the creepy long hands. And the, it makes me think of Dr. Finkelstein. I don't know if he's giggling. Oh, That's some kind of sneeze. Boy, there's that pesky brain. Here's a tissue. Now, don't you feel better, my dear lad? TV? Of course! Right here! And this had to. We'll just drop it in the old garbage chute. Now, don't you solid foods for six hours! I don't think that'll affect uh, his brain. Lily! Ooh, I know what I'm about to do. Oh, you know, as soon as you open it, you just go down. I think it's time for a little boss fight. <clears throat> yes, indeed. I can't remember what the tank is called, but it should be called the think tank. <laughs> That's cool. I never really thought about that before. I like, get coming out of the blueprints like that. It's cool. It's neat. Yes, boss fight time. 
can make it destroy those, and they have useful items inside. Oh, um, it has a new, it has a different attack um, that we will get later that I completely forgot about called Confusion Grenades. Man, I am so smart. There you go, gotta get that soft, soft underbelly. Like underbelly. <laughs> Here I come. Oh, do I punch it? Yeah, there we go. This game is so funny. It really does have good comedy. Like, I'm putting out the soft gelatinous valley. It's nice. Look at this this butt rock going on. Break the thing. Okay, so when you get hit by a confusion grenade, all your controls are not even reverse. They're just different. Um, and your psych powers get randomized as well, so they're quite. Um, quite annoying to deal with, but I don't think very many enemies use them against you. And like I said, eventually there's something that you can uh, put into use yourself. Uh. Alright, might take me two more tries to finish this thing off. I don't like it when enemies, when you can't act upon them to see their weak spot that you just gotta wait for it. Like, I should be able to do something to interact now. Like, right now, my R1 was just the, um... was the levitate instead of, um, being the shot. Ah! Uh, target lock! Gotta hide behind something. That's what I've been doing the whole time. Oh, come on, I totally hit that. Dang it, I might die. I gotta watch out and make sure I'm getting all the positive mental health that's dropping because this is kind of giving me a beating. See, that smoky residue is the confusion grenade, so I gotta stay away from it. There we go. Okay, it'll take one more. I could use some health and some ammo, so... If you could be so kind there, think tank. What's it really called? The brain tank. That's dumb. Why not think tank? Well, regardless, it did now. Gosh, that was a big ol' explosion. Rip headphones users, as they say. Oh, I didn't know this was a two-stage fight. Oh, I might be in trouble. I might be in trouble. I don't have a. I have like no health. Uh. Why did I lock on to nothing? Okay, please start at this stage. Please and thank you. Yes. Okay. Can't get a good rip. Can't get a good rip. It won't let me TK into hold in this place. I totally forgot about this stage of the battle. Can't get a good grip. Can't get a good grip. I should probably at least try to jump over those. There we go. Who needs jumping? Is this a nightmare? Or a plan? Or both? Wait a minute! Rasputin, I'm sorry. I had to abort the experiment. Something unbelievably urgent has come up and I must leave immediately. I know! You'll never believe- Hold that thought. In a rush. Official psychonaut's business. Wait! It's important. So is this! Official psychonaut, eh? You forgot your- Hmm. So now we can go into people's minds that aren't inviting us, like um, <clears throat> the coach, Sasha, and Mia did. So that's how we're able to do the rest hey, of the, um, that white room. I the know. worlds in the game. It's from Oleander's mind. I think I was in the coach's dream that whole time. Ever since I stepped through the static in the caravan, it felt funny. I knew I wasn't obsessed with meat. But Mari is. 
and was stealing psychic brains to arm a fleet so of coach oleander tanks, apparently. is evil he's been try he's he's trying to steal down by the boathouse the uh, sorry, video cut off right there. Um, as I knew it would, because it was an important cutscene, nothing I could do about it. Um, we're meeting Lily down by the docks, down by the beach, uh, to tell our, our update. Is a scavenger hunt item in here? What is it? I want to look around for a second. We don't have time to do the, um, the whole next world anyways. And I'm curious. We'll be able to start it though. And it's one of my favorites. As I always say, really the only one, there's only two that I mostly dislike. One being Mia's and the other one um, I'll save for later. But I think if you if you know this game, you probably know the one I'm talking about. It's probably, it's one of the most clever designs, but it's just very annoying in practice. And I kind of dread doing it for the channel because um, it was almost always trial and error. Oh, at night there's um, pyrokinetic tigers instead of the bears, so that's fun. And as you might imagine, they put up quite a fight being Crowley, you gotta help. Um, kids are getting kidnapped, being that I can't go in water, missing, and their brains are stolen. And I think the coach is trying to take over the world with psychically armed death tanks. Well, now, you see what happens when you go to parts of the forest that are off limits? Won't you help? I'm a ranger. I've got enough problems wrangling these leaves. Now get! Yep. It's all up to us. As is usually the case. I think with levitation, I can just pop in this hole. And get the treasure. Oh, that's a whole ranking. Nice. Like, you should be able to break that all from this side. That's something they should have done, because now you have to fight the camera, fight the platforming, and that's totally unnecessary. That's like the little things that really separate this from being an amazing game to just being transcendent. Like it could have, should have, would have been. I'm trying to go to the Dax. Dun, dun, dun. I could have just taken the um, the cart in Sasha's place. Oh well, I don't really like the, the fast travel is useful sometimes, but I mean you get um, arrowheads and cards and items and stuff as you go. Like I got that whole rank just Bobby. then. Uh oh, look, I can explain. T C T B. Jeez, it sounds like you caught a bad cold. Maybe, but listen, I traced the psychic interference back to Coach Oleander's radio. He's been broadcasting his insane plot all over camp in his sleep. So he's really kidnapping children and stealing their brains to make weapons. Yes, isn't that great? What? How is that great? Because this is an honest-to-goodness psychic emergency. And Sasha's not here. He left on some official psychonauts business. Mia Talk left to a us. note saying the same thing. Lily, a deranged man-man is building an army of psychic death tanks to take over the world. And there's no one who can stop him. <laughs> Second baby syndrome. You and me. Oh my god! Let's make out! Uh, what? Sorry, I'm just so excited. Since you showed up, Raz, things are so much more exciting. Sinister death plots, mad scientists, hideous monsters. Make out? How long have I ignored what this camp had to offer? Everything's new to me now, thanks to you. I mean, look at this flower. You mean, like, kiss? How many years have I been coming here and I've never even noticed a cool flower like this before? There's that Hannah's bear. There's that lake monster. You didn't just hit my boyfriend! Well, <laughs> there you go. Lily! Almost as bad as your girlfriend turning into the moon. Big up, Sokka. But how can we go in the water? What with our phobias and problems? Let's get him! I can't. 
can't swim. Well, then use the bathysphere at the end of the dock. Quick! While the flipper prints are still glowing. I want all those are cards, though. I don't, I don't know, know how to drive that if we'll start, uh, if we'll actually descend in this episode. I, I might just explore the, the docks the a little children. bit. Yes, yes. If the brains are out, they'll need supervision and possibly refrigeration. So yeah, I'm just going to collect these cards and explore the ducks a little bit, and then at the beginning of the next episode, we'll begin the bathysphere descent. That girl gets overly digested. And the next world, Lungfishopolis. That's really high up. I don't know how to get up there. Oh, well. What's that? That's a scavenger hunt item, I dare say. And a card. That might be a whole marker. Indeed it is. Levitation is like a cheat code because it's so freaking good. Like, like we could have um, just taken our time to do those, but no, it just zoop over them. I don't know why I said taking our time. We could have done it without levitation, but with them, you just cheat. I know we decided this sound is too annoying for regular episodes, but I feel like they would put one up here in the hard to reach area, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Go away. No, go away. How do I dismiss you? Hmm. I'm not okay. picking up anything. Must not be any deep arrowheads nearby. Children, please remember not to pet or feed the animals at Whispering Rock. The satanium in the food chain has caused numerous psychic mutations, and the animals you encounter, especially at night, might be more dangerous than the kind you have back home. Let me get that too. Yep. Yeah, racking up. If I have two more, that's enough for three more ranks, which will be more than enough to get our next power. There's one up there. And like that, basically how it works is you just jump towards it. You don't have to worry about fall damage. You don't have to worry really even about the environment. You just jump towards it and figure it out. Like sometimes you got to find the right place to jump and all that, but mostly you're just hopping. Oh, you got to find the right tree without a bulging on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that goes against my message of fun that I was just talking about, though. How do you... I'd be really interested in 100% speed speed run. We were talking about that in the last episode. About um, I've never seen a second out speed run, but with the kind of loose controls, I feel like it probably is a game that's ripe for one. Come on, yeah, there we go. Um, but I'd be interested to see um, how it all works. But 100% one would be really cool. We got to get all this stuff and find you know the most optimal way of finding them. The other day I could not remember the word optimal to save my life, so I went on, I looked up speed running on Wikipedia because I knew they would talk about it. Oops. Okay. Anything else right for the picking? That's something up there. Let me grab that real quick. I'm not even going to interact with the bathysphere or even get too close to it because I think it'll just put throw me in a cutscene and have me start heading down. But definitely check out the next episode. It's um, the start of a really fun new world um, that I dare say you will all enjoy, because I certainly do. Not my very favorite. Well, I don't know. Maybe it is my very favorite, because my favorite, um, there's one that has my favorite design, one that has my favorite, well, one that is like probably most pure fun, which is this one we're about to do, and one that it, um, I like the art the best my favorite look so it's hard to say which is my absolute favorite of the three although um both of the other two in the top three are quite weak in other ways like this this one like the one that has the best design um is uh, annoying sometimes in the gameplay well okay fine. 
No, this is not going to be fine, though. Just take me. Take me. All right, so that'll wrap up today's episode as we drown. Um, in the next episode, like I said, we'll descend the bathysphere and get into our next big world. But we're definitely starting to get into the real meat of the game of Psychonauts here. We have a, um, let's think, five more worlds, maybe? So I think this is this might be about the halfway point, honestly. We're getting we're it's not the longest game in the world, but thank you so much for coming along with us on the journey so far. Make sure you subscribe. See so you don't miss a single episode of Psychonauts, and I will be back on Tuesdays and Thursdays with more. No, not Tuesdays and Thursdays, sorry, Mondays and Fridays. But there is something Tuesdays and Thursdays, war stories. We got something every single day here on the Fluxons channel. That's my guarantee. So thanks one more for your time, and I'll see you guys next time. I don't know about you guys, but I'm full.